Episode 52, we continue the battle with Bowser. He's got 12 HP left, but knowing him, he'll invent an attack that will completely restore his HP. If that so happened, this game is bullshit. Thank God it's not. So we finish him next turn as long as he does not restore his health like a douchebag. No, he's just gonna drop lightning on us. But you know what, Bowser? We're gonna use the creepy Uncle Star Spirit to finish you off. Have a good day, you lose. Skolar for the kill. Game over. So now he returns to normal size, and the thud. Oh no! Mario defeated me again. He always defeats me. This time, I became invincible, and I still couldn't beat him. Darn it! What a big baby. Yes, he is. And there is the Star Rod. And we got it. Hawk Harrelson, do you have anything to say about getting it? Thank you, Hawk Harrelson, Steve Stone, CSN Chicago. You took back the Star Rod. Oh, Mario. Josh, can I get your best you can put it on the board? No. I know, because you're a fag. Mario, I knew you would save me. I thought you said the fag quote. What? No one says you, that. Mario. Says what? No, you're not getting me to say it. You can put it on the board? That's... There's no point in saying that. It's fucking retarded. Wait, are you saying the quote, you can put it on the board? Yeah, yes! Got it! Well, huh? I'm awake, huh? What's going on? This isn't part of my plan. As you can see, the stage is blowing up. Yo, Cammy Koopa, what's with all the shaking? It's Al Qaeda. Wait, what? You heard me? No, I really didn't. It's Al Qaeda, which means it is a terrorist attack. Damn it! I fell right for it. Uh, your kingship. The battle with Mario was so intense, cheater, that my device for increasing your power seems to have started malfunctioning. Uh, it's entirely screwed up, and the power appears to be heading back into your castle. I hate to tell you this, but both your castle and this spot right here are about to explode. We must flee, my evil king. We have no choice. What? Are you really? Well, that's a big problem. Let's get out of here, right? Boom! Bye bye. So um, they all blow up and die. So Bowser and Cammy Cooper get blown off the thing, and there they go flipping into space. So now Bowser's castle is blowing up. Not Peach's castle, just Bowser's. That makes no sense. Collateral Peach's castle damage. is on top of it, so Bowser's castle is exploding. Collateral damage. Well, that would have happened, but. We have the power of the Star Spirits on our side. Oh uh, yeah, that does a lot. As the Star Spirits completely guard the castle and us. So we're safe, the castle's safe, as we drift back down to Earth. So now the Star Spirits take us back to the castle. So now we give the Star Rod back to Elder Star. Maybe I want to be invincible. Oh, Mario, thank you. You did it. You brought our precious Star Rod, I think, from the bottom of my heart. We'll use it to bring peace back to this world. Now we'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All this is thanks to you, Mario. When you look at the night sky, you'll know that the glittering stars are praising you for your courage. Look upon their bright light and remember our thanks. You really took it to Bowser, Mario. Really socked it to him. What impressive strength. I knew you could do it. Mario, don't think we don't know how hard you worked for all of us. It must have been difficult. We won't forget your efforts. I hope Bowser learned something from all this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Although I say the chances of that are pretty slim. Tiss tiss. Ah well. No words can express completely how thankful we are for all that you've done. 
Hope has returned, both to Star Haven and to all the Mushroom Kingdom. We are in your debt, Mario. And Twink, may I say, you really rose to the occasion. You've proven yourself to be a grown-up star. Ah, <laughs> oh, go on. Well, I think it's time we return to Star Haven. All the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye now, Mario. May the stars forever shine brightly upon you. Alright, that makes no sense. They're going up. Star Haven is down. <laughs> They're going away from Star Haven by doing that. Mario, I'd like to thank you, too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in your time of need. Hope maybe to see you again sometime. For now, I'm going to become a respectable star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, Twink. You've always been a stellar friend to me. Princess Peach. I, I... Well, no, never mind. I have to go, too. Thank you very much, Mario. I'll always remember you. Princess Peach, goodbye. Peace is Twink, you little bitch. Not gonna lie, though, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have won. I love how Peach is always so much taller than Mario. So there go the star spirits. So they went up just to go straight. Yeah, you guys are cool. You can fly. Yeah, and Twink, you're cool with your extra sparkles. So the castle goes right back to where it used to be. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the star route back from Bowser. It seems like another wild adventure in the books, bro. The castle's back in its normal place and everyone's returned home safely. You came through on the end just like you always do. I know you've always been back for days now, but I bet you still kind of feel like you're on an adventure, don't you? That reminds me, the pals have traveled with you. I wonder what they're up to now. You can see Gumbario and Gumbaria, I think her name was, I don't know. They're just running around like a bunch of idiots. Gumbario! Hey, Barakari, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Ha ha ha, sure am. This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Gumbario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Whoa! What's she writing to me for? We even found out. I got to deliver more letters. Thanks, Barack of Russia. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. Gumbario, okay. hey, what did Princess Peach write in her letter? Let me see. Hang on, Gumbaria. Jeepers, this is an invitation to a party at the castle. It says the princess is having a party. I'm invited to go have fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, with that attitude, you're not. Well, that's Gumbario's attitude, not mine. Now, there's just a bunch of everybody's mouth is moving. No lift. There's Bootler giving the letter to Bo. And of course, she laughs with her fan. There's Watt with the Shy Guys. Brackery just hands in there, talks to Watt. There's Sushi getting. reading the letter, trying to manage the Yoshi kids at the same time. Lackluster and uh, Lulu, I think her name was. <laughs> Lackluster, she's just like, butt out, bitch, I'm trying to bang this chick. <laughs> and now you see over at uh, Snowver City, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Shiver City. Now then, gentlemen, it's time to scale the Frosty Heights to the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place front to back. Cooper! Huh? Prackler? What brings you here? Phew, I finally made it. I have a letter for you from the Princess Peach. Oh, wow! This is an invitation to the huge party of Princess Peach's castle! It's directly from the princess herself. It's got a signature on it and everything. Cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bass this big, but... I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, Poppycock! Baller Dash! Don't be daft, dear boy! Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. It's a golden opportunity. Go to the party this instant. Don't spare me another thought. It would ruin the party if a hero of Koopa Village, may the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, wasn't even there. 
Huh? I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado. You're so kind and generous. I'll do it. I hope you guys will be alright without me. I'm gonna party. He just runs off. Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home, you wandering buffoon. What a no good husband. That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you set on this expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious. Oh, good gracious! P -p -p Brackery, why in the world didn't you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy. I must wait back home with all due speed. And there goes Colorado. So this expedition's pretty much over, they're thinking. They go home. Oh, we got... You've got mail. Now, uh, did you leave something outside? I think I'll bid. I'll go take a quick look. Damn sure you go quick. I'll look. Mario's not getting off his ass. That's one on a whole adventure. What did you do? I did nothing. I broke his what? Parakuri stopped by to drop off a party invitation for Princess Peach. He said he's also invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd see us at the castle when he arrived. Now we better go too. You haven't even read the letter. How do you know this? You didn't even open. He is not invited. Yeah, yeah, wh why are you following me, Luigi? Get, get out of here. You, you stay at home. Heroes only, not sidekick. Sidekick, that didn't do anything. Okay, listen, Mario, I'm just gonna run ahead. There's something important that I have to do. What is it? Sorry, bro, it's top secret. Luigi, He's get your- go bang Daisy. I don't even think Daisy was in this game. Probably not, but still, you know- Oh, it's look, it's Chuck Quizmo. No, there's no quizzes today. So there's Colorado. I gotta see what he's saying. Greetings, old boy. How are the festivities? I'm not a morning person. Janie, though, happy. Wow, that was just an ad from YouTube. Uh, I thought his wife was gonna say something. Mario, we're going. All right, so it's not gonna let us go over there. Can't go to flower fields. Can't go anywhere. The only way to go is straight. So we head into the castle, which is back in its old position. How does it perfectly land where it was? I don't know. Mario, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everybody could be here on this special day. The Star Rod stolen by Bowser has been rightly has been returned to its rightful place in Star Haven. Peace is once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems like they're sending us their thanks. Mario, Goombario, Cooper, Bomet, Parakuri, Bo, Watt, Sushi, Lackalister, and everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom. We've regained peace because of all your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. That the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come, perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt wish. And now she actually wishes it. So let's celebrate. Enjoy the festivities, everyone. And now the credits start, and it's in the form of a parade. So you know what? We'll do it on the next episode. See you then.